Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is Tron here again for RC's R for Me, and this is a quick video on the program box, tr the Trackstar Turbo program box for 80 amp or 120 amp Turbo ESC. So, I'm making this video because there's another video on this exact same issue that you'll run into if you buy this program box for this ESC setup. I'm going to walk you through what I did to deal with that issue. The other video, which I will give credit to, uh, shows one method of dealing with this issue. I would not recommend that method. Um, I would assume that that method is for people who are... I don't know. Just don't use that method. It's, it's very archaic, and I wouldn't... You, you could run into damaging everything that you bought here. So what's going to happen is you'll buy the card. It'll come with a menu tree on the back that essentially means nothing as far as what, what's in the what's in the system, at least I didn't think so. You'll take it out, you have your lead for your ESC, uh, the lead has a little tab on it, I don't know if you can see that from there, but I'll try to show you. There is a little tab on this lead, right on the end here, on this side, that sticks out, making it not a perfect rectangle. And the two um, receptacles in here, I'm going to cover this up for a moment, um, are, are rectangular. And you're going to be using the blue, the blue receptacle here. And so what I did to make it fit with this little tab is I just simply grabbed a Dremel. Um, and I also grabbed a very small end mill. I don't know if you can see that at all. I'll try to bring it out here so you can see it somewhat, but very small end mill, maybe 63 thou, pretty small with a 1 8 shank, threw that in the Dremel and burned out a hole right in the edge there um, to make that little tab have a place to fit into on the side to the left. And so then you can do that. You can take this, plug it into there, line up your negative to your negative, uh, I've got it hooked up to the motor, and now I'm going to give it power, like that, and I'm just going to turn it on, and press program box V2.1, press any key, I'm going to press any key, V2 on Trackstar, waterproof version, just giving me some information, and so I'm going to press something else, now it's taken me to battery type was the first thing it took me to and like on here on this thing I don't think it even showed battery type anywhere so yeah um, we can uh, <laughs> oh wow okay well drag brake I don't know if you guys can see this um, but it's showing us drag brake motor timing, uh, acceleration, low, I'm going to change that to medium, uh, forward limit, 0%, reverse limit, 10%, uh, drive frequency, that does a bunch of interesting stuff, dead band 2, that's always great, reverse rotation is normal, restored default, no, battery type, I sure would like that to change, but it doesn't, so, whatever. Oh, battery type, NIM or auto detect. I guess we're going to do auto detect. Operation mode forward only. Forward reverse. Let's go forward and reverse. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure I just like shut this off. With my switch here. Unplug this. And now I'm pretty sure that when I put in my receiver, so this goes into the throttle section here. Sorry guys, bear with me. Into the servo, grab the transmitter, blam, turn that on, turn this on. It's going to make some sounds. So reverse at a much lower percentage. 
pour it at whatever percentage I'd like, starting at medium punch, which is perfect. It is programmed exactly how it's supposed to be. Done and done. So that was really easy. At least I made it look really easy. So if there are any questions about this program box, obviously get at me in the comments. I will get back to you for sure to try to help you. Um, because we, if you figure something out, tell somebody. Now, about the shares or the likes or the comments, I want you to do all the above. No one ever does. I realize that's the reality. But if you're bored and you're like, you know what, I'm actually going to like this video and you're signed in, like it. Alright, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. And that is another helpful video from RC's R4Me.